Oh no. Let's take a closer look. Not much left of that fat. Let's try flight controller number two. Here's everything that comes in the package and a close-up of the flight controller. The new battery lead is soldered up. The flight controller has a set of pads that need to be bridged to enable the onboard ELRS. With the power lead and antenna attached, we can safely power up the board with a USB lead. That USB lead will then connect to the computer and we can now connect with Betaflight. I will only be showing the update process for each component of the flight controller. I am not showing the setup as that is specific to your preferences as well as your specific installation on your quad. Before making any changes, we will back up the factory configuration. I will post a link to the factory configuration below in the video description. The flight controller came with Betaflight version 442. We will now update to version 450. Next we'll update ELRS. First we'll set the serial port for the onboard ELRS receiver. Next with the board powered up, we'll wait for the fast flashing green LED indicating the ELRS receiver's Wi-Fi is active. We can then connect to the receiver's Wi-Fi. Open a browser and enter 10.0.0.1 into the address bar. The landing page indicates the target, which is HGLRC Hermes 2.4 GHz receiver, as well as the current firmware version, which is 3.2.1. Knowing the target, we can now flash the latest version, 3.4.3, of ELRS. Lastly, we'll update the ESC firmware. We'll plug the flight controller into a battery as the ESC does not receive power from USB. Using the latest version of ESC Configurator, we will connect and find the current settings. Currently, BlueJ version 0.16 is loaded onto the ESC. We're going to upgrade to version 0.19.2. With all the updates complete, I have also applied my preferred Betaflight settings off camera. It is now time to install the flight controller into the quad. The soldering pads for this flight controller are very small, so I check all of them underneath the scope. Despite checking this with my first flight controller, I did miss a tiny short, which is why I lost my first board. With the ohm meter, I do a final check for shorts. A quick clean of the board and we're ready for final assembly. The drone is all ready for a test flight. Let's head outside. A successful test flight. I hope you found the video useful. See you next time.